I get a lot of questions about the Fujifilm Instax Mini 11 camera. So in this video, I answer some of those questions. I have posted over 50 videos on the Instax cameras on my channel. So if that's something you're interested in, please consider subscribing. Given that the Mini 11 tends to overexpose, do you suppose covering the flash could be used as a hack to make it less overexposed in bright environments? I love to see that done. The camera has two sensors, has a flash sensor and a light sensor. So if it's already really bright out, like you're on a beach, Covering the flash will not have any effect because uh, most of the light is coming from the sun and on the beach. But if you are indoors, like in this room, and uh, most of your pictures are too bright, uh, the light is coming from the flash. So what I've seen some people to do, they put like a white tape over the flash to decrease the output a little bit. So you can experiment with it. So if you're taking pictures indoors and they're a little bit too hot, like the face is a little bit too bright, try to put some white tape over the flash and see if that helps. But it's definitely a little bit of an experimenting thing. Thank you for this great informative video. I have a slight problem with the viewfinder. There seems to be a black cobweb shaped dust inside. It doesn't affect the photos though. Do you know if we could clean the inside of the viewfinder? I don't know how it got there since I covered my Instax with white fabric before I put it inside the bag. Thanks a lot. So the viewfinder on the Instax cameras is completely separated from the lens. So even if the viewfinder was completely smashed through, it won't affect the quality of the pictures. So you can go ahead and clean the viewfinder. Worst case scenario, you're gonna scratch it up a little bit and it's gonna look scratched, but you're not gonna affect the picture taking lens or affect the, the quality of the images anyway. Does taking a photo if there are no films inside damage the camera in any way? I don't think uh, it's gonna damage the camera anyway. So when you're taking the picture with the camera, a few things happen. So first the lens uh, opens up and lets some light in. And then what happens, there's this little tab on the bottom of the camera that pushes the film a little bit up into the rollers and then the rollers ro rotate and they push out the film. So when you don't have any film in there, all it does is that this lever goes up and down without uh, doing anything and the rolls roll. So you put in a little bit of wear and tear on the camera, but it's unlikely that it's gonna damage in any significant way. So here I have the Instax Mini 11 with no film in it and I can take pictures and then you can see this arm moves up and then the rolls roll. But other than that, it doesn't really do any anything else if you don't have film in there. So it's just uh, putting extra wear on the camera. No big deal. So I don't think you're gonna uh, damage the camera by um, playing with it without any film in there. What do you do if the lens pops out but the orange light to show isn't on, doesn't pop up? I gave it new batteries and it still doesn't work. So this is a really common problem. People put uh, batteries in the camera and uh, they still don't have the light on. I think vast majority of the cases that uh, the quality of the batteries they're using is not um, up to par. Um, and uh, there seems to be a lot of uh, variability in the quality of batteries. And the Instax cameras are really sensitive to the how good your batteries are. So I use the rechargeable batteries. I have also videos on um, which batteries I recommend. But in general, people seem to have the best luck with the Duracell batteries. So if you have any issues with the Instax Mini 11 camera, the first thing to do is get a set of Duracell batteries and see if that solves your problem. Uh, other high quality batteries like Energizer should work as well, but most people say Duracells are the best. So we just got this camera and we set everything up correctly, batteries in correct position, etc. But as soon as we press the button for the cover to be ejected, nothing happens. The solid light goes instantly to blinking rapidly. Can you please help or give advice? Again, I think the most likely explanation is that the quality of the batteries is not good enough. So I recommend to get some high quality batteries like the Duracells and see if that uh, solves the problem. I actually had the same issue before, where I had rechargeable batteries, they're slightly depleted. I changed it with Duracells and uh, it worked just fine. Hi sir, thanks for the information. Can I ask for help? My Instax 11 camera won't turn on even though I have installed the battery and filmed correctly. When it is turned on, there is no light on, thank you. Either the batteries are not good enough, they might be dead or get the higher quality batteries. Um, I would say double check your orientation of your batteries to make sure they are installed correctly. And if uh, none of those help, um, it's likely the, the camera is broken. Make sure you also eject the lens because um, the light only turns on when the light, uh, lens is ejected. Uh, you can also try to wiggle the lens a little bit to see if that helps. But if none of those help, then I would send it back to the store where you bought it from or back to Fuji for repair. Uh, there might be something wrong with the camera. My Instax shows S on the numbers and also the little light is flickering even though I've changed the batteries and I can't seem to make it right. What should I do? Uh, again, I think the most likely uh, explanation is that the batteries are not uh, good enough. Um, try to get the better quality batteries and see if that helps. Uh, if not, then again, the camera might be broken. Hi, I just bought new Instax Mini 11, but when I turned 
the power button, the flash doesn't lit. What happened? I hope it's not broken. I just bought it a week ago. Crying face. Most likely explanation is the quality of batteries. I uh, try some Duracells and see if that helps. Hello, why is that my photo is too bright when I'm just indoor? Anyway, I subscribed to your channel and I didn't skip the ads. So if they're too bright indoor, it's possible that, especially if you're taking pictures of a uh, light colored subject, so people with really light skin, uh, and you're close, the flash might be a little bit too bright and they might uh, be uh, too bright on the pictures. A couple ways to fix it is uh, one is to step back uh, with your camera. So they'll be a little bit smaller in your uh, pictures, but they might be not as bright. And you can also try to put some white tape over the flash to kind of bring down the exposure of the flash a little bit. My camera lens won't come out for some reason. How can I fix it? Uh, actually, I actually have never encountered this problem before. Uh, so it's usually pretty simple. You just push the button here and it comes out. If it doesn't do that, it's probably broken. There's probably some type of a physical connection that connects this button to the lens. And if it doesn't do that, unfortunately, I think it's probably broken. Um, you can try to jiggle it, um, see if anything helps. But yeah, there's nothing really to um, help you. Sorry. My flash is too bright, even if it's not so bright outside. What can I do? So if your light from the outside sources like sun um, is sufficient to light your picture, and you feel like you don't want any flash at all, you can cover the flash completely and see how that turns out. It's a little bit of experimentation, but you can definitely try it out. Um, so you can get some black tape and just cover the flash with black tape. Does the Fujifilm only have 10 shots or does it have 20 shots? It has 10 shots per cartridge. So if you want 20 shots, you have to put two cartridges. So you put one cartridge, use it up, and then you put a second cartridge. I think the confusion might come from the fact that uh, the Instax mini film is uh, often sold in a, um, packets of two so it's two cartridges with uh, 10 shots each and it will say 20 on the package how to remove film can someone help me thanks so i have a whole video about this uh, so check out my channel i'll put also put a link below um, this uh, video it's uh, pretty complicated so one time the film got stuck in my camera and tried to remove it i would not recommend it um, it's you have to use a lot of force to get it out if it's stuck the best thing to do is try to uh, some high quality batteries like uh, duracells that solved it for me. If that doesn't solve it, um, I will probably have to send it to Fuji for repair. Hi, please help. The first protective sheet is not ejecting. The number countered down from the letter S to 10. What can I do? Also, the light is orange. Is that normal? So the light being orange is completely normal. It's uh, orange on all the cameras. If the film counter didn't work uh, and the um, ejection sheet didn't come out, uh, make sure that your film cassette was full and there was actually something to eject. Uh, it's possible your film cassette is defective, so you can try a new uh, film and see if that uh, solves it. If not, um, then probably something's wrong with the camera and you'll probably have to send it for repair. Can I print the picture from my phone with it? Uh, you can't do that with the Instax Mini 11. So the Instax Mini 11 is a completely analog camera, so you can't print pictures from your phone. If you want this functionality, uh, Fujifilm sells two different cameras that can do this. One is the Instax Mini Leap Play, and the second one is the Instax Mini Evo. I have uh, lots of videos on both of these cameras. I recommend the Instax Mini Evo because it's a newer camera and looks pretty cool. But the Instax Mini Leap Play works just fine. Uh, Price-wise, they're pretty similar, so I would choose the one that uh, appeals to you more uh, from like a design perspective. Do you need a film for it? Yes, you need a uh, film to take pictures with the Instax Mini 11. If you don't have any film, you can take pictures. So I can take a picture at the sun with 11. So yeah, the, it's a common problem with the Instax cameras. Uh, it's, they really can't handle super bright exposure. So if you're taking a picture with the Instax Mini 11 camera or the other cameras, in, except the digital cameras like the Evo or the Leap Play, uh, the super bright uh, parts of the picture, like the sun, will tend to be overexposed. So I actually have a, a video on uh, Instax solarization about this, so you can check that out. The one way to combat it is to put a, like an ND filter or sunglasses. I also have a video about that, so check those out. Uh, I'll link them below. Yeah, in general, it's a limitation with the cameras. Um, so really, really bright scenes are hard for the Instax cameras. On the Instax Mini 11, can we turn the flash off? And can we get the pictures on our phones? So you can turn off the flash on the Instax Mini 11 by pushing any buttons. If you have enough light outside already from like your room or from the sun, you can just cover the flash with black tape. And sometimes that works really well. For the second question is how can you get the pictures on your phone? So what I do generally is uh, once I get the picture uh, printed out on the Instax Mini Film, 
I uh, snap a picture of that with my iPhone. Uh, a lot of times I try to put it on some kind of more interesting background to give it a little more flair uh, for Instagram. Great video. Is it possible to do overexposure on the Mini 11 the same way you did it on the Mini 9? By opening the bag a little bit and all that. I'm deciding which one to get and this is determined for my choice. So I think what they're talking about is double exposure. So uh, the way it works on the Mini 9, I have a video on that, is that you want to have the film in there. You take your first photo and uh, before it has a chance to eject, you pull out the back of the film a little bit so you can grab the uh, film and then you put it back in, close the door and take another picture. Um, I don't see a reason why that would not be possible on the Instax Mini 11. A uh, couple issues with uh, doing on the Instax Mini 11 is that uh, it has completely automatic exposure. So if you do double exposure, uh, it's probably going to be a little bit overexposed. I would say if you want to do um, double exposure, I highly recommend to get the Instax Mini 90 instead of the Mini 11 or the Mini 9 because on the Instax Mini 90, you can do double exposures really easily. It's just gonna be overall much, much nicer experience. My picture turns out very dark. One day I tried taking the pictures of sky. It was like light blue and turned out violet. Any tips you have? By the way, great thing, video, thank you. Uh, thanks for liking my video. So I think uh, you might have been taking pictures of uh, like a night, uh, night sky or close to sunset. I think it's pretty common. Our brain and with our eyes is really good at balancing different um, colors. So when you are at sunset, things don't really look as orange. But to the cameras, the change in color during daylight, uh, like middle of the day and sunset is really, really different. So the sky close to uh, sunset or close to end of the day, it actually does turn a little bit uh, violet-y if you uh, take pictures on film because the film doesn't know. Uh, it doesn't have the trickery that our brains do. So it actually changes the aperture, right? I'm between buying this one for $75 or the Mini for $50. So yeah, based on uh, my testing of the Instax Mini 11, the aperture does change based on the... Um, uh, light amount. Uh, it's very different camera, the Mini 11 and the Mini 9. On the Mini 9, you manually have to select your uh, aperture. Uh, this one is a lot more automatic. I really recommend the Instax Mini 11. It's just a really fun, easy camera to use. If you want to do more experimenting, I recommend the Mini 9 because you can manually select the aperture or the Mini 8 is kind of the same camera. Or you can also get the Mini 90, which uh, allows you to do like bulb and turn on and off and flash. So for simple picture taking, Instax Mini 11, if you want to do more experiments, check out the other cameras. My flash does not work, hoo hoo. I've already tried taking picture in a dark room, hoping the flash will activate, but it won't. Any help, just bought it yesterday. Um, so that's pretty unusual. Um, the Instax Mini 11, it always fires the flash. Even if you're in like a super bright sunlight, I tested it, it always fires the flash. So if the camera is not firing flash, uh, I guess the next question would be, do, do the pictures come out? Um, if uh, if it's not firing the flash, uh, I would say either the batteries are weak and if that doesn't help, uh, then it might be broken, unfortunately. 